Hello, hello, this is Roguelike Rosler here with a, another roguelike for us. Um, this one's called Forward Escape the Fold. And uh, this is a demo, and the release comes out end of March for the Steam Next Fest. So we've got a bunch of games coming out around that time. Um, settings menu it's here, it's fairly basic, but um, you know, it is in early access. Just going to put a little bit of music on, and at least we've got the ability to control the sound. Um, just have a peek, looks like there's loads of achievements here as well. But let's start the game. Um, should we do a tutorial? Yeah, let's do it. See how um, intuitive it is. Your goal is to beat the final dungeon, but moving card to card. At the bottom, you find your character card. Uh, the cards you move on have different effects. In front of the shield card, you can click on it to see its effect. Good news, it will give you two armor durability. This will be useful to defend yourself against enemies. Move your character onto the shield card, gain two armor. Cool. Here's where you can find your HP. It must always remain above zero, otherwise, you lose the game. Your armor will take damage before your HP is depleted. Moreover, there is no limit to your shield durability. Seems there's some gold coins in front of you. Move your character to get that loot. <laughs> you enter the field of vision of an enemy, so they attacked you. Uh, inflicted 5 damage. You lost 2 armor durability and 3 HP. Uh, enemies attack you if you move in front of them. Okay. Except you're careful not to be seen. However... Be aware, however, that enemies you defeat will leave behind rewards for you to loot. The more powerful the enemy, the better the rewards. Cool. Got some gold coins. Moving on the cards. You can reach cards that... You can only reach cards that are in direct contact with you. Plan your accordingly. Okay. Does that mean I can just take all of these? Or... Ah, they disappear. Let's... So if we do that, he'll pop us. Um, mana potion has just appeared. Mana is a resource that will allow you to use your special power. You can click on your power to see the effect. Powers have, have powerful effects, but require mana to be used. Up to you to decide when the right time. If it's too damage to all visible enemies, cost five mana. Still need five more. Oh, I can see my mana down here. Items. Apple. Use your six when you start a new level. Ooh. Just grab a shield. Don't see a reason why not to. An item card has just appeared. You can click it to see what passive effect it gives. Try to reach it and add it to your inventory. You can click on your character to see your inventory. Through a journey, you discover different items. It affects even stat. Some of you are rarer and more powerful items than others. They keep. They can change a game and your strategy. Cool, this is the rogue like customization element. Reduce the cost of your power by one point mana point. Sounds good to me. I don't see much reason to want to fight these guys. Grab this. So now I've got mana ring and this should only cost four. I wonder if I can flare extra mana. It kind of looks like I can't. Um. What loot he's got. Maybe this is good. Oh, you will bleed. A powerful enemy has just appeared. <clears throat> it's a boss. Bosses are marked with a crown. At the end of the, each dungeon, you'll meet a boss that you'll have to defeat. Always plan to keep your health and armor as high as possible in anticipation of the final fight. It's up to you now to defeat the boss. So, thankfully. <laughs> I'm gonna hear that. One plus one maximum health. Cool. And you defeated a boss. You can now play the real game. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. A strange hissing. A terrifying hissing sound gets louder and louder. After a few seconds, you find the source of the noise a snake like you've never seen before. It's about to let you go peacefully. It's not about to die! Gives you 
two poison stars. So that was not good. So um, same dude as before. Um, I go coins. Shield. Okay, thank you. Got more coins there. I haven't actually seen where I can spend coins. If I attack them like this, will I pick up what's underneath them? Got six gold coin. Still got six. So that's a no. You really don't want to walk on them. If I do that, then I can't. I'll have to pick up the. Have I just died? It looks like I was not ready. Rotten wood blocks your way. If you shut open, you can hear a frenzy barking of a gigantic dog. Oh, no pressure. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we need to be a little bit more careful. By that, I mean a complete worse. Let's do this. Two damage to one of the rivals. Nice. And this really does gives me no loot. So 15 health, so I should be at 12 health. Zero mana. Zero coins. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. So we don't really need the health, so I'm gonna. Some of these like last ones are pretty brutal. Okay. As long as you have stealth gives you one gold coin. I don't have stealth. Reduces the power cost by one mana point for each corrupted item in your inventory. Um, as long as you have stealth bestows minus one to enemy cards. I'm just gonna pick it up and in case I get corrupted items in the future, I guess. The Soothing Lake, you arrive at the edge of a small lake where the air is pure. It's perfectly round in appearance, makes you think that it's not natural. You feel drawn to it and receive its benefits as you dive in. So, uh, <laughs> at least this uh, went better than last time. So, we can go max health or heals. So. Gotta go max, haven't we? You're being followed! You know that for several hours a giant spider is directly in front of you. You pretend to stop to encourage it. <laughs> I will devour you. A lot of eating me going on here. I'm not sure I'm a, a huge fan. Merchant chest sounds good. All right, we're gonna greed. Okay. I don't. I have no idea why. I've just done this. I can't believe I've done this. We're gonna have to fight the squid dude. But given I'm gonna have to fight it, um, I should pick a leisure because. No, I don't heal, but I'll get this loot then. And. I'm gonna do this. Should clear. Stack a bit more defense. Four gold sounds good. Two. Level four. Sword. Take two damage all visible enemies, nice. <laughs> You're immune to blindness. When you lose greed, you trigger your power if possible, okay? And minus one to poison cards for each corrupted. Poison cards for each corrupted item in your inventory. How cost it? So maybe I should pick that and I can't use any of them anyway, so maybe I stack, try and get some corrupted stuff. When you lumberjacks, you walk along a dense, dark forest for hours and come across a small village of lumberjacks. It would be good to take advantage of this opportunity. Ooh. 
door. Well, this is cool. I can spend all my money like immediately, am I? Huh. So you receive protection three when starting a level. Adds two poison cards in all future levels. Which would sound bad, but poisons aren't as bad for me. Plus, it's a corrupted card. So, immunity, protection. I mean, that does sound good, to be honest. But we've committed to this weird thing. Jewelry store. You get greed too after being attacked by an enemy. Cool. Don't know what greed is. Greed is good, though. village of lumberjacks I was. Terrifying hissing. As you enter the dark cave, you hear a strange and terrifying hissing sounds. As you approach, source of the noise, come face with a gigantic snake. You have no choice. It's time to die. This is the one that killed me afterwards. It's leveled up. Golden chest. Yes, please. So cool. I, it's only four. This corrupted build that I've gone for is OP. When you use your power effect, two damage to all physical enemies for each corrupted item in your inventory. Oh my god. I am. When starting a level, you gain two armor durability for each corrupted item in your inventory. As long as you have stealth, get one plus. Ah, oh, this is just... Oh yeah, after. It's just a great day. So now he attacks me, I've got greed, right? Ooh. Right, it's plus one... Gold coin cards last for two moves. Give me that greed. Sounds good. Bestow one healing potion cards at minus one to shield cards. Seems pretty really bad. Add one gold coin in each next level. When you buy a card, you get greed. Let's do it. Impressive forest. Discover and hide behind a huge tree and observe a group of nearby enemies. A sudden noise. Resounds above you and makes you raise your head. There are the trees, so fine. Oh, look what that's There's um, fun little game so far. It's a unique. I mean, it's not, it's not a card game at all. Um, don't these don't need to be cards. It's just like a, um, like a little puzzle dungeon crawly game. It's nice. I'm enjoying it. Probably gonna pick up the shield though. Yeah. So this is gonna absolutely just hammer them. I'm gonna do it. We can do this. Okay. Let's 
elsewhere, I guess. So add each crop to that, yeah. So it's just that that poison card would would have been a two, maybe. Easy game. Chalice of the Curse, any poison card also gives you four coins. Ooh -hoo. After being attacked by a boss, you gain as many gold coins as HP you have left. Tasty. As one shield card and all future levels. Seems like it. it's just the sensible choice. Um, I mean, given how I'm going, that's just printing me money. It incentivizes me playing safe, which is probably sensible as well. A complex system of cogs and block cogs block the door. After several hours, you inadvertently put your hand on a coloured stone, which activates the opening system. Bella. Upon entering, you discover a room filled with ancient jewels. I'm coming to get you. Monster meat. And you have woo. When an enemy attacks you, they have a 25% chance to inflict poison three. Oh, that's horrible. Though. But it is another corrupting card, so I've got the make my thing cheaper. We need to find this. I mean, this is stupid to do, right? We need to find this. Oh, okay. Immune to blindness. Pumpkin, when you see boys and you receive blindness in instead, but I'm immune to it. I'm effectively immune to poison. I didn't think there would be a boss at the end of this, so I am glad. The achieving unlocked as well at one point. Yeah. From the boss as well. Nah. You gain three armor and two blindness when starting level. Did I get that, or is that special attack? You feel an evil shadow around you. You're on high alert and distinguish in front of you a terrifying spectre. I would value your dreams and your soul. Nice. So did I get the nut? No. So I've unlocked the nut from getting that achievement. So I'm, I'm effectively immune to poison. But if I'd taken the other thing, I would have got money every time I had poison, which would have been cool. But this only costs three. And. Power cost, and I've got something that does extra damage, right? Death orb, when you use your power, inflict two damage to all visible enemies for each corrupted. So this is just going to do like tons of damage. <laughs> Six or something. Alarm her up a bit because the more health we're left with at the end is our better. Oh god. Heal it up. Might as well do it, I guess. I got bear coins. Just gives you five gold and two blindness. Just gives you three gold coins. When you attack an enemy, you have damage to the one behind them. Just gives you five gold. And 
blindness. Which I'm immune to. Golden ticket, add one merchant check card, reduce levels. Cool. The saving all that money. Desperate blacksmith, you pass the user forge that seemed to be abandoned. You enter and talk to the desperate to a desperate blacksmith who begs you to buy some things for them. Sure, mate. As long as you have protection, bestow minus one to bosses, okay? It's not incredible. When you attack an enemy, you gain protection two. When starting a level, you gain two armor durability for each corrupted item. Okay, well, this is. I may as well grab that as well. Protection two. And, you know, why not? There you go. I'm like the bro, from, the blacksmith bro. Spotted walking along the de deserted road, you find yourself in front of a huge hole of about 10 meters in diameter. You bend down and observe to see many monsters coming out in full speed. You are spotted hungry. Okay, so not quite full health. Um. So I've got bonuses when I attack enemies. I wonder if um, I feel like this is them attacking me, maybe. So this might actually give some um, incentive for. Yeah. So that didn't give me armor. I would suspect that, jumping onto them. And I guess that goes for that spear card that we saw as well, the one that does damage behind it. I probably need to actually move onto that square. Uh, I'm just going to take this nice safe little road up here. give armor each move so that's just the same as armor but over a longer period of time it's just like two armor or five healing oh we are that okay corrupted item when you receive armor heals you instead oh that's too bad though just gives you five gold at minus two. I've already got that. All poison cards inflict damage to nearby enemies, orthogonal and diagonal. Which I guess is just a head and because I can't do it next to me. But yeah, we'll definitely take that. We'll take this. Receive armor, heals you instead. That's I just, yeah, it's too bad, I can't. Hungry. Nice, 20 gold. Clover boss with 20 hit points or more. Oh, no worries, man. Golden Act. When you attack an enemy, you earn four gold coins. When you receive poisons, bonus is dead. Gold coin cards have a 30% chance of giving you one and a point. So clearly they um a little bit of a problem with duplicating cards. Like there's no point in having two of those. There's... I can see it with like the nail card, which I've got. I guess I've got two of nail two times two. So it looks like it's intentional, but yeah, um I don't know why I want two pumpkins. Well, both of those seem very good. I'm picking up a lot of coins and not a lot of mana. I don't need a lot of mana. I'm not really attacking enemies that often, but I can see you making a build for it. 
You receive immunity until the end of the game. Oh well. Can't have any other status effects on you as long as you have this one. Master Demon. A gigantic demon appears before you. He seems to ignore you. But his words echo in your head. Do you think you are worthy of leaving the bold, you wretch? <laughs> By the we meet. Will you only get to me? Um, play a little bit say. Okay, I guess. Whatever in it. Whatever. Oh, that was the sound of mana. I know that sound. I'll use it because we'll get more. That. Broken bone. The purchase price of this card. Oh, the purchase price of cards is increased by eight gold. Already got that. When you lose all your armor, you gain two stealth. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'm rich and uh, seems like late in the run. Twelve and thirteen. We're called to Gate. <laughs> Welcome to Gatenberg. The town of Gatenberg is on the horizon. The hospitality of the inhabitants of the town is known in in all the regions. You go there and take a well-deserved rest. Should, probably shouldn't have just gone to the had a bone. But oh well. Good alchemy. Food market. You receive blindness, gain one mana point. Don't need any arm. Jewelry. Oh, when you lose your greed, you trigger your power. Yup. To the forge. Twenty-five. Axe. All your mana potion cards inflict one damage nearby. Freedom! With the demon dead, you move towards what seems to be the bright ray of light. You smell the fresh air and feel an overwhelming sense of freedom. It is at this moment that you realize that the demon rises and inflicts you with a powerful blow. A last effort. You force me to go to the next level? Die! Okay. Now it's good. Uh, by the dragon. So I want my green to fall off really. Okay. 
Oh, that's nasty. Storming through this. Greed for fell off. I can just get another one of those. Yes, please. Two mana on uh Victory, damage taken. 52. Points affected 63. Moss 5. Third score. Nice. Okay. Well, wasn't quite expected to do a pull run, although it says I'm only 15%. Oh, uh, yeah. So we've got plenty more to do. And this is probably just the demo as well. So, um, yeah, an exciting little game. The, the demo is free at the moment. So, yeah, pick it up. The full release is coming out, I would say, at the end of March. So, uh, I may well check that out later. Well, this has been Roguelike Rosa. Thanks for uh, tuning in.